also <laughs> if you're wondering what is going on with my hair see fun i'm also wondering um today's video is really about in fact i woke up today i had plans to film this weekend i wanted to film a make an, an autumn winter inspired makeup look but then we woke up today and it's so hot we are right bam in the middle of summer right in the middle of autumn but anyways that is how um this season is is like really you wake up one day you're freezing and the next day it's extra hot um so yeah i just wanted to film a tutorial with you guys i am going for a very natural look i'm really just focusing on the base of my makeup not really anything dramatic with the eyeshadow and all of that so yeah um without any further ado let's get right into the video um so as you can tell i've already um prep i've done my eyebrows and prepped my eyelids so i'm just going to go in with this avon spray it's a hydrating mist it's an avon true hydrate and protect facial mist it's said um, to contain antioxidants and it's good for all skin types including sensitive skin i love this stuff um i've used this um on my face a couple of times i just love how it just hydrates my skin instantly um especially in this season so yeah so yeah even though i am going for a more dewy look i am going to go in with the, a mattifying primer i'm using this essence prime plus studio mattifying pore minimizing primer with black clay this is my fave i'm sure you guys know this by now so i'm just going to go in with um this primer in terms of makeup or the base of your makeup i actually now that it's autumn i'm i'm finding that my skin is starting to get a little bit dry i generally have um, dry skin so these days I'm, I'm i find myself going in with a second layer in fact of my um, moisturizer on my face just because it's just so dry these days but yeah so hence i am going in with a hydrating mist because I, that is what i want i want a very healthy skin underneath my makeup and then i'm going to now go in with foundation and i'm going to be using this mac oldie but goodie max studio fix fluid foundation this does contain spf 15 no city shields moisturizer because it's the sunscreen basically so my shade in here is nc45 um i think i've used this before i'm just going to i love this foundation in fact i've got a very weird relationship with my mac foundation because i find that it it does oxidize because by the end of the day in a mac foundation i'm looking a little bit red so that's why i'm saying i've got a love hate relationship with this foundation but today i decided i want to wear mac and also i feel like my complexion these days is a little bit dark i'm not sure if it actually is but I just, I just feel like I'm a little bit darker these days, and which is weird. But yeah, I would have gone with something a little bit lighter. But I think today is a neck thing. I've got these two agents of satan so i think that is my foundation done i'm not i'm not really looking for anything full coverage i can still see some marks on my face and i'm not mad about that because um i'm not trying to look all cakey and you know i just want a very even base on my face so i'm gonna go in with this maybelline fit me uh concealer this one is really bright and i like that about it so i'm just putting it 
in the areas you know we conceal. Um, then I'm going to go in with this Revlon Photo Ready Candid Powder. So I'm just going to set my under eye. Not baking, I'm just setting the concealer to prevent any creasing underneath my eyes. And that is all really. Not baking. In fact, I like saying I'm not baking as if I ever do bake. I don't. <laughs> I don't, literally, because my skin cannot take the baking because it gets so dry. Setting my face with powder alone makes my skin quite dry, so I wouldn't bake, to be honest. Then in the areas where I didn't put concealer, I am going to set that the rest of my face with um, this Maybelline Fit B powder. Um, my shade here is 330 Toffee. I'm just placing this everywhere else where I didn't put um, con uh, my powder, setting powder, just to set the rest of my face. I'm still thinking about whether I want to cream contour or powder contour or even contour at all or I'm just going to go with a bronzer only I think I'm going to just contour my nose and I'm going to bronze my cheeks I'm going to go in with this LA Girl Pro face powder it's very dark it's in the shade cocoa I know this is quite dark for my skin but I can't find my normal um contour powder so I'm just gonna go in with this I'm gonna what I'm doing is I'm going in a little bit on the product and I'm just dusting it on my hand because I actually want to use this not um, the actual product from the container to to contour my nose just so that I can sort of diffuse the darkness a little bit I'm not going back into the products, I'm just getting it from here, from my hand. And I think just because I'm not going to be using eyeshadow, I'm just going to use the same brush just to deepen my crease and my eyelid, just to go with the whole contoured look. I'm going to use a bronzer on my face and not a, a not really a contour powder. I'm going in with this uh, MAC bronzer in shade Cheeky Bronze Mineral. It's, it's the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Cheeky Bronze. Um, you guys have seen this so many times on this channel. I know this. I'm just going to use it to bronze up and of bring back the cold hoar in my face. And yep. I love this because it does contour 
it does sort of bronze up the face and because it's a little bit tint, um, tinted it's got this nice pinkish tint to it it does give you a sort of blush looking like look so i love this and I, these things are so annoying i have this palette here ever-changing eyeshadow palette i want this shade here this mm, orange like brick like shade it the shade name is called the palace so i'm just using this to bring out some color really on my eyelid I'm not really going for it for any eyebrow or any eyeshadow look today so i'm just going to do one color and that's it I'm just sort of blending this with the brown that I have already put it, put on my eyelid from from the um, contour powder, and now the orange is just going to make everything a little bit brighter, um, and not all brown. And that is it. So while I'm waiting for my um, eyelashes to get tricky, I am going to go in with a highlighter. I'm using this Wet n Wild uh, highlighter, Mega Glow highlighting powder. So I'm just dabbing a little bit on my nose, highlight my nose. Pretty good. This highlighter is everything really. I'm gonna go in with a blue eyeliner on my uh, lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with a matte lipstick. I'm using this Wet n Wild lipstick. It's in the shade, it's called Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit Matte Lipstick. The shade is called Rebel Rose. Um, the reason I'm, um, because I'm going to be wearing a mask, really, I can't be wearing gloss and a mask. So I'm going to go in with this lip. Then to set the rest of my face now. I love this lipstick, I love it. I love that it is, oh. It, it, it is so good quality really for a Wet n Wild product. It is, I love it, I love it. So I'm going to then set my face using this new fave of mine, the Scarlet Hill Setting Spray. I love this. I love this because really it's the girl she thinks she is this girl. So I'm gonna just um, spritz my face. Very generously. I actually just spritzed my face with another layer of the um, Scarlet Hill setting spray and 
yeah i've got my ring light on now just hoping that you guys will actually see the glow on my skin because i feel like it's amazing so yeah um thank you guys for watching this video today and that was fun for me and now i'm going to head out and yeah go and do some errands i hope you enjoyed it and i hope that you will try the um, this technique i showed you guys today and if you do please tag me in the pictures please do um comment in the comment section down below let me know what you guys like what you think of this look and don't put any comments about my hair please <laughs> no comments about my hair please so if you are new here and you aren't already subscribed to my channel please do click the subscribe button it's free and it won't cost you anything and it just makes me know who is enjoying my content and yeah so hope to see you guys in my next video cheers bye